Underneath Angola's steep mountains, green hills and large plateau lies one of the largest and most diversified mining resources in the whole of Africa. Known for being a producer of diamonds, what is less known is how Angola has largely untouched reserves of iron ore, copper and gypsum. Other minerals also play a role in the production of everything from smartphones and wind turbines to electric vehicles and batteries, all of which are growing in importance in the 21st century. It's early days, but Angola has huge potential in the so-called green mineral economy. When it says that Angola discovered a quantity of considerable minerals de terras raras, têm uma grande oportunidade. Os investidores, ao tomarem conhecimento dessas oportunidades, não deixarão de as aproveitar. Creio que será um, um fator apelativo importante para, para Angola. The Longonjo project is mainly focused in discovering and mining one of the Earth's most precious and important minerals, which is niodium and presodymium, or as we simply call it as NDPR. NDPR are some rare earth elements that are used to make ultra strong magnets, but that are um, malleable and that are very light. And those elements are now today mostly used for electric vehicles and for wind turbines. The world is changing its consciousness regarding the consumption of energy. And those elements are crucial just to building one of the elements that make this technology possible. We're going to be everywhere. In September 2020, Angola's Sovereign Wealth Fund agreed to invest $8.6 million in Pensana to further develop the Longonjo project into a major rare earth mine. The project is slated to be the world's first major rare earth mine brought online in over a decade, after upgrading the mine's NDPR oxide estimate by 35%. Further drilling is planned and is expected to lead to a significantly extended mine life. Just recently we got new data. We could get more than 900,000 tons of NDPR. The mine could actually extend for 20 years. Only for the area we are planning to work with. We are not talking about the whole construction yet. It's a huge project. Pensana intends to have an environmental friendly project. For example, we intend to use hydroelectrical power just to lower the photo emission of electric, electric power. We're going to be using the railway instead of trucks just to lower the carbon emission. And uh, one of the most important things is the end use of the product that we are actually offering, that it's made for, for green technology. Whatever we do, we have the environmental and the community well-being in mind. Estamos a prover que 2021 seja o ano do início da retoma económica. E prevê-se que para o ano 2021 tínhamos um crescimento positivo do setor não petrolífero de 2,1%. Ao passo que o setor petrolífero vai ter um crescimento negativo de 6,2%. Mas o facto do setor não petrolífero vir a ter um crescimento positivo já é bastante animador, porque é o setor não petrolífero que cria empregos. Porque é com emprego as pessoas que nós criamos rendimentos para as pessoas. The majority of the Angolan population is actually young. And one thing that I admire and I appreciate in our young population is that they bring such a good energy. Os angolanos em geral são trabalhadores uh, árduos, trabalham arduamente. Um povo em que a coesão e a unidade é importante. Penso que essas características fazem dos angolanos um povo que tem a base para atingir o sucesso no desenvolvimento. Longonjo is a living proof that we do have a lot to offer, so I would encourage universities, I would encourage geological societies, I would encourage investors just to keep on looking harder and investing in other complexes, I'd say, just to at least help us to know in detail what exactly we have here. Apart from NDPR, we might have other rare earth elements to offer. The presidential approval of the Longonjo investment contract is said to reflect the government's strong support for foreign investments, which help diversify the economy and bring social and economic benefits. Pensana's investment will create jobs, provide training, support local businesses, as well as improve the social infrastructure within the Huambo region. 
Angola está, tem, está a criar as condições para que qualquer investidor que aplique o seu dinheiro em Angola terá uma aplicação segura, com um retorno garantido, o qual poderá ser exportado ou expatriado quando for necessário. Estamos a fazer as reformas no mercado cambial que permitem que os investidores, quando pretenderem fazer a expatriação dos seus dividendos, dos seus lucros, o façam em tempo oportuno e sem qualquer, qualquer restrição. Portanto, isto é, é um elemento importante que dá segurança aos investidores. É sobre como você fez o mundo um pouco melhor. E o que você faz, vai continuar em sua ausência? Como vai continuar crescendo?